Ah, favicons. Those fabulous little photos you find in Firefox. In fact, you find them in all browsers. Rachel Heller was a randomly selected commenter on our blog last week and we promised to make a favicon for her site. The brief was, well, brief, but this is what we've come up with. Hello there, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials and this is a video for Rachel and Rachel is wanting to look at how a favicon can be put together for her website. Now, Rachel, you only gave me a couple of pieces of information to do this. One was the fact that you were writing a book about Malawi or it was set in Malawi and the other was that, you know, the colours of Africa are really around oranges, reds, browns etc and that was the information that you gave me but as I mentioned in my post you can't really have too much detail on a favicon because otherwise it it really ends up looking like a, a bit of a blob. This is what I've ended up with but I just want to take you through the thought process because hopefully you might find that useful. I actually went over to the Malawi flag and I looked at the colours there and this is the first, you know it's very small and I'll explain why in a moment. That was the first colours that I came up with from the Malawi flag. And then I moved to the, some greens and then I came eventually to this last one which I've decided shows up the best. Obviously that's entirely up to you to decide that. But anyway, let me just show you how I created it. And I created it using a piece of free software which we teach um, on which is called Inscape. It's inscape.org. The reason for using this is it's got huge flexibility over, you know, some things like the sort of the quick and easy photo editing programs, because this isn't about editing photo, it's actually about creating graphics. So if you do have an interest to learn more, then you can sign up for our free tutorials where we take you through and you'll be able to make something like this from there. Let's just show you, in fact, what I did. Oh, let's keep that there for the moment. I simply drew a square shape and the size of the favicon is 16 pixels by 16 pixels and therefore we change that by simply going up to the width here of 16 pixels and the height here of 16 pixels. So that's, it has to be exact. So that's the exact size of the favicon. I'm now going to just change the colour to black. And here's the colour bar at the bottom, colour palette. If I go over to the Create Text button here and click on there, so I want an M. Let's reduce that. Bring that down here a little bit. And then I want a W. Why did I choose M and W? I've no idea really in the absence of sort of no branding on your site Rachel I just kind of had to decide and think about something that could link in with what you told me and a W and an M sort of you know sort of seemed to fit the bill really with Malawi and I quite like the the shapes of them let's bring them up to that sort of size and then I simply applied a font which kind of looked all right and it's called grilled cheese which is a little bit interesting and I applied that and the reason why it, it, it's quite good is because it's it's big and fat as opposed to skinny you see the M here which is quite nice it's a little bit too skinny and we've got to really emphasize what's on this small favicon to be able for it to show up in the browser so let's change that to grilled cheese Let's move these down here. Let me zoom out a little bit. And the colour I chose was orange. We'll move them in a moment. And um, let's just use that green. I quite like that green. And then I just resized them a little bit using the tool there. And that's a little bit to go a little bit like that and that's really all I did as I say any more detail than that and the whole effect would actually get lost this is what it looks like and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it a little bit more closely 
And that's it. So I hope that has helped Rachel. If you like it, please let us know. That's all for now. Bye.